Hello y'all, good morning. I finally got my first vlogging camera, so I'm gonna be unboxing that right now. I'm extremely excited, but I'm trying not to make this video super long because there's a lot I have to do this morning. So I'm gonna unbox it right now. I'm gonna do it super quick. I'm probably not even gonna edit this video, honestly, so it's gonna be completely raw, hashtag unfiltered. The only thing I've done today so far, because I woke up a bit late, it's Sunday, okay. And I needed my sleep before anyone says And I went to sleep late. So had I not gone to sleep late, and I usually go to sleep late on Saturdays because there's tons to do on Saturdays. So I needed my rest. This is the camera. It's a starter camera. It was $99 on Amazon. I can link it below. I'm just gonna link it below, right? It doesn't hurt. Or actually, no because I'm probably gonna forget, being honest. Because I haven't even built a description box template that I use every time that people usually put. I used to have one back in the days, I'm pretty sure. But I don't have one anymore. So if y'all are interested in having one like that where I put some info about myself. Mm, actually, that was Ellie. Yeah. She's like, open up. If you want me to put one in there, you can comment down below and maybe I'll make one. But I won't put that much information there because I'm kind of skeptical about people knowing my business on the internet or much about me. So I won't put that much. So anyways, if you're interested in this camera, let me know and I'll comment the Amazon link to this in response to your comment. This is the camera. It was only $99. I think I said that. So I'm not expecting it to be absolutely mind-blowing quality or have a bunch of features that maybe other more high-end cameras have. These are the features that it advertises on here. I'm guessing, oh, why is somebody calling me? Well, why is this person calling me right now? Anyways, let me pause. Someone's calling me. I don't know if you were able to hear me. I'm gonna call them back after this. What was I gonna say? So I've only done, I'm all over the place because I'm trying to make this fast, but I feel like when I try to speed everything up, I end up slowing myself down. Okay, they have a question to ask me. Please wait. So I just did my morning routine, went to the bathroom, did all that. That's why my face looks a bit shiny right now. I like how it's looking. The lighting makes this side of my face look a little dark, kind of spooky, like the Terminator vibe. And these are the features that it advertises. Digital camera, max 48 megapixels, 18 times powerful zoom, and it says Digi video camera. I don't know what that means. This over here, Digi. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna open this super fast and get to using it for today because it's Christmas Eve. There's a lot that's going to be going on today. I feel like I always break my nails opening boxes like these. It's strange. Does that happen to anybody else? Like I try not to, and my nails are not that weak. I don't know if you can tell, maybe by the sound, but they're not that weak, so it's interesting. I'll use this later. I feel like to get started, I probably will know how to get the hang of it without lo looking at the user manual. And I tend to look at the user manual for everything. My friends know me for that, that I always read the instruction manual. There was like this card game where it was like, most likely to read the, the user's manual or instruction manual, and then everyone was like, that's loose. And I was like, yeah. So I gotta know all the features. I gotta know all of the adver, not advertisements. <laughs> you know how it's always called advertisements or something like that? I think it's a French word for warnings, I think. So I don't know how you would say that. Advertisement, advertisement, maybe, I'm not sure. So this has Wi-Fi capabilities. There's a lot that I need to read up on and I'll do it soon after I start vlogging because there's some tasks that are urgent right now they're calling my name and I will respond to the call I love when cameras come in packages like this we own two family well one family camcorder that was bigger that used cassettes were they cassettes I'm not sure like mini cassettes to record on and you would hold it like this like the typical family camera from the early 2000s that was our first family camera and then we got a second one that was a Canon something else but it was a gray one and i remember the package was so cute oh i also had a mini camcorder that was literally like this small it was so cute and it had a little 
viewfinder like this and I would record everywhere. Dang, I love that little thing. It was so cute. I'm wondering if I have it. I probably have it at my family's house and another state. So I'm gonna see if I can get my hands on that and bring that over here. I don't even know if it works or if it needs batteries, but if it works and all it needs is batteries or another storage card, then I might use that one too for the vibes. The quality is definitely not gonna be like the quality of this. This advertises 4K quality. So we'll see if that's true. It has this wristband to connect to it and then you put it around your wrist clearly because I just said that. And then here's a battery and USB-C to USB-A. I think this is called USB-A right there. And right now to film, I'm using my iPhone 14 in case everyone's wondering. And it has this little lens cleaner, super cute. I like that, it's pink. I like pink a lot. That's everything that's in the box. And this was in the package as well. That's all, let me show you the camera and then we'll get to using it. I'm excited. And I'm using my tripod right now that actually has an attachment for cameras too. I've only used it for my phone. I don't know what this is for though. If anyone can tell me what this is for, I'd be extremely grateful. All that this does is screw out of this. I'm guessing this is to protect the user from the end of this poking out, but I honestly have no idea what it's for. I'm not sure how I could use it or I'm supposed to use it. I don't know if y'all heard that. Hopefully I didn't break anything. I already broke something tiny in this tripod. Also, I got this tripod in 2021, I think December of 2021 when my mom sent it to me. December or September for my birthday or for Christmas. Probably my birthday. So thank you, mommy. Here is the camera. Wow, you can see my reflection. Super exciting. 4K Ultra HD. My lips are, I need to be careful. I'm expressive, but I might have to pause on that a little bit because I haven't put anything on my lips <clears throat> to moisturize them. I'm gonna put a lip balm after I finish filming this video. I'm guessing this is to magnify. Here are the settings on top. I'll probably figure out how, <clears throat> what those settings belong to as I use the camera. Trial and error. This has a Wi-Fi button, a mode button, menu, delete. There's like a cycle button. I'm not sure what that's for, but I'll figure everything out. I'm just gonna show you all these buttons. And I'm guessing this is a viewfinder. What's this? I don't know what this is. Oh, maybe it's, I have no idea. I'll learn all about it in the user manual. This is a bottom. This is to attach to a tripod. I'm pretty sure this is probably where the battery belongs. Is this a TF card? I think that's a TF card for storage. And that's it. Oh, I forgot what this is called. I learned about this in my videography intro to, what was it? Intro to, I think it was videography that I took in college, I forgot. Is it the focal distance? I'm not sure, I forgot <laughs> what all of that means, I'm not gonna lie. I don't use them in practice either, but maybe I'll refresh myself online one of these days. It might be helpful for my filmmaking, right? Digital zoom lens, 18X, I love that class. Now I'm, I'm having flashbacks about all the memories. I think I have some of my films uploaded or maybe all of the films that I made in that class uploaded onto YouTube on my channel. So you can scroll back down and find them there. Pretty sure they're there. If they're not, my bad. They're the more artsy ones. So you're definitely gonna be able to tell. And I forgot what the titles are too. So I'm sorry, I can't help you there. But if you look there and you see something that gives an artsy vibe, like dramatic expressive vibe, then it's probably that. That's it. Here's the camera, here's everything. And I'm gonna see if the battery is in here right now. If not, I will put it in there. Yeah, the battery's not in there. Right there. So growing up, we thankfully I had access to a film camera almost at all times. Of course they didn't let me film when I was like two months old, two years old, anything like that. But as soon as I was able to hold the camera, I did want to in my family. 
would make home videos or not even home videos, but family videos whenever we would go outside or have an adventure, go to the zoo. One time we went to the Bronx Zoo and we still have videos of that on the mini cassettes. And we still need to use the video camera, the camcorder to be able to see that on TV. So I'm gonna try and figure out if I can transfer all those files to CD, like burn them onto a CD or onto a USB instead, because you never know, right? What if the camera stops working and they don't make the pieces required to fix it anymore? That's kind of low key, like a fear of mine because there's so many precious family memories on there. And it's been something that's on my mind. Like it comes up every year and I'm like, I feel like we need to get on that. So hopefully this next year <laughs> is the year. I sound like all the people online that are like, 2012 is gonna be my year and have been saying that every year, but make it your year, seriously, okay? And I think what's been stopping me is because I don't have access to it. Like I haven't lived with my family consistently since high school, since I moved out for college. So I don't have that kind of access to what I need to fix that problem. So we'll see. Hopefully I will be able to soon. I'm gonna commit to it. This is what the battery says. In case I need this information in the future. I don't know if it's readable. <laughs> if I take a screenshot of this in the future, it's gonna be my forehead. Mad shiny in the middle, right there. And, oh. It's rechargeable, slay. These are the precautions. Oh, and you can see the Christmas presents in the back. I have a few more too that I have for peeps. Not people, Gabby, for people. People, not people. Because she has a dog called people. So I'm like, peeps, and then I think of people. Cause she calls him peeps. Okay, we're done. I'm pretty sure, does it go in this way? I'm not sure. Oh, the positive terminal. Where's the positive terminal? What? I'm not sure. Oh, and I can't see. Okay. Okay, well, I'm gonna try it like this. And if it doesn't fit, then it doesn't fit. Okay, it didn't fit. Let me try this way. Yep, that fits. There we go. Let's turn it on. Right here. Oh, that's so cute. Hello, camera. Oh, interesting. Okay. I low key think that the autofocus is a little jumpy. Like I can tell when it's autofocusing, it's like it goes in a bit and then it goes back out to focus properly. Hopefully it won't be too annoying. I have three bars of battery right now and everything else looks good. As expected, these little logos look a little blurry as you can tell. Wow, a camera reception, huh? And that's okay. That's okay, it's $99. I wasn't willing to spend like <clears throat> hundreds of dollars on a camera right now because I still haven't gotten a new laptop to replace my old one. I have like the 2013 model of my current MacBook. <clears throat> that's my MacBook right now. It's a MacBook Air and it cannot support the capacity at which I work just for anything like for editing videos or for multitasking because sometimes, for example, I'm on a Teams meeting or on a Zoom meeting and I have other tasks to do. Like it doesn't freeze all the time, but sometimes it freezes and then I have to close certain applications. There's not enough internal memory on there. The processing is not that great. Even with the best Wi-Fi, it's not going to export a video that's relatively short compared to other YouTubers' videos or compared to any type of video that you would have or you would process. So I'm like, I need something, I need to upgrade to something that can support the capacity at which I work and complete projects. So I wanna get one of the newer models of MacBooks, MacBook Pro, but it's expensive. And I'm trying to rebuild my savings after I paid off all my student loans because Biden, you did not forgive them like you said you were going to. But it's okay. I had enough savings and then I had to incur another expense that I wasn't expecting and it's okay Like life happens and I don't regret making that expense at all <clears throat> But those two expenses combined 
practically wiped out my savings and this was like three months ago maybe so i'm still rebuilding i'm still recovering from that and it's going well i've been saving up and my savings account is looking better healthier after it took that major hit so <clears throat> it's not all bad i hope i'm not getting sick people around me have been sick hopefully it's just morning dry throat i have it all the time okay so we're gonna start filming with this for the rest of the day going into tomorrow probably and i'm excited thank you for watching this video and i'll probably upload this next upcoming video soon after this one gets uploaded because it's going to be within the same season i'm trying to get at least two more videos up before the end of that scared me it said goodbye well that's good though because it has an automatic off feature so you can save your battery that's smart I like that and i can probably change that in the settings if it annoys me too much i'm gonna keep this plastic cover on for as long as i can because i hate having finger marks all over the screen i'm not sure if it's good to keep this on but i know a lot of parents do my parents did with almost everything like technology related i think i'm not really sure actually but i know i know they did do it for some technological devices we had yeah, I think I was exaggerating. In my mind, it happened way more often than I actually did in real life, but I know that I tend to do this, at least for cameras. Not my phone or anything like that, but something that I really don't want to get any marks on. But I'm not sure if that's bad because I'm thinking now, like if I apply pressure, like will the, the other side of the sticky scratch up the display? I'm not sure. But anyways, so thank you for watching this video and I'm excited for what the future holds with this camera. And with filming, my life, and just my life in general. I feel like a lot is gonna happen next year. A lot happened this year. Tons happened this year. I feel like maybe next year I could do a recap that I'm thinking about right now. It's like a, an idea I have of what I learned that year, new experiences that I had. Like for example, this year I learned from my friend how to drive a manual car, which was something that I've wanted to do since forever. Since I even had a desire to drive when I was small well i'm small now i'm okay i was about to say my height but again we're not going to be saying our height or personal information for as long as we can on the internet it might slip out one day but i'm trying to be more conservative anyways what was i gonna say yeah so when i was really small like i always wanted to drive and i was like i want to drive automatic and i want to know how to drive manual because you never know what if there's a life or death emergency and the only car that's available for you to run away in for life is a manual car like you're just gonna be stuck no i feel like it's an important life skill just like automatic driving is everyone should know as soon as you can legally legally right but if your parents start teaching you a little bit before you're at the minimum age age minimum age limit then that's not my business don't tell me and don't comment because I don't want you getting in trouble. Thank you for watching, finally. I, I'm concluding this video because I've been talking for way too long and I keep jumping from topic to topic. Let's get recording with this and I'll see you in the future. Bye.